Hi everyone. Well, I'm back. Um, it's been a while, and I'm back now. I get uh, Netflix DVD rentals because I ran out of movies to stream. So I'm back in the business of watching dog movies. Um, I've been getting a lot of really negative comments from people. It's pretty funny, uh, especially on the Air Bud movies. Surprisingly, I thought everybody hated these movies, um, but I guess some people really like them. So I'm going to watch all of them, and I just watched the fourth one, um, Air Bud, seventh inning fetch, and this time Air Bud is going to be playing baseball. Um, but he doesn't really play much baseball. And I got a surprise for you. This movie was not that bad. So I'm sorry I'll troll people who are trolling the crap out of me lately. Um, hey, like I kind of liked watching the Air Bud movie. So, um, but I'll tell you why. I know why I kind of like this movie. The kid, I think his name is Jesse or something. I don't remember. But the same kid, the main actor, was in the first three movies. He's in this one too, but only the beginning and the very, very end. Um, he goes off to college and uh, leaves um, the main role of the movie to his little sister, who is also the same actress, I think, from the other ones. Um, and the parents are the same, too. And, um, well, the the daughter, I mean, her, yeah, the, the girl or whatever, um, she goes to a new school because she just got into middle school with her friend, and they join the softball team, I guess baseball, co-ed baseball team. And then, um, it was a pretty good movie, though. I mean, I guess because the little boy, uh, well, I guess he's not little anymore, but the main uh, character of the first three movies was what really got on my nerves. Um, it seems like they had more fun with this movie. Um, you know, I'd hate to say, not usually, usually I wouldn't tell someone to go watch the fourth movie first, um, but this one is definitely clearly the best Airbud movie I've ever seen. <laughs> As, you know that means anything, which, you know, that doesn't mean too much. It's not like it's a great movie. So I'm going to give, I can't believe it, an Air Bud movie, an eh, for sure. Um, you know, it didn't suck. Um, actually, I, I had fun watching it and laughed a couple times. You know, the the first three Air Bud movies, I was kind of like this the whole time. Um, hopefully the next one's good. That'd be cool. Uh, oh, there's... The villains of this movie are like these two scientists that, uh, mad scientists that are trying to like steal the dog, um, Air Bud and all of his like puppies who are in this movie too as adult dogs now. Um, they steal them all and try to like take their special sports genes so they can sell them to professional athletes. But they're really like kind of incompetent and hilarious how over the top dramatic they are. Um, so that was cool. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it was okay. I, I think if you have to show your kid one of these first four movies, show, show them this one. Or if you had to watch one for some reason, definitely watch this one over the other ones. The crappy news is that it's not streaming on Netflix. I had to rent it from DVD. So, I mean, I'm sure you can find it on VHS or something. It's from 2001. Um, but yeah, this is going really long. Uh, so, best Airbud movie yet. Some hope for the future, um, I guess. So, the next one is Airbud Spikes Back, I think. It's a volleyball. Uh, I got that one too. I'm going to try to watch it tonight, I guess. So, bye!